Wake up, Eddie. Wake up. That's his mother, right? Why'd you do it, sweetie? Mom? What is up, guys? Welcome back to Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo. So guys, in the last part, we found out that Faye wasn't like the person we think she was like. She was the real psychopath. And we are playing as Ed now, right? After, like, the very next day after Faye left him. So we are in one of Ed's memories. Alright, so here we are at the place that we stopped last time. So I guess we need to choose, like, one of those, one of these three things, right? The tree, the birds, or the... Uh, transmission tower so like I think we chose the tree in the first part like in the intro so maybe we'll choose the birds now yep here we go uh, choose a starting point keep searching yep let's choose this some days something interesting would come out of it most others nothing would but I decided that my next book would be a collection of short stories or vignettes in the style of Bierce or Kafka. New book? How is it coming? I'll tell you later. Uh, repulsion, fear, sadness. Mm. I guess we can go with sadness, right? Because, like, Fay left him and, like, he must be feeling sad. So let's go with sadness, I guess. And on one fine day, just like that, you stop singing for me. Abandonment, depression, hopelessness. Abandonment, maybe? What did I do to make you deprive me of one thing that made me happy? I asked. Marginalized? Ignored. Uh, marginalized, maybe? I played it at the bars of your cage. You won't even look at me. What does the window have that I don't? Okay, let's continue. A little over... A month ago, <laughs> about a year since uh. Faye's first visit, I thought it was Samuel. We'd been playing a lot of chess, and we're supposed to pick up a game we started the night before. Open, night to b6, ignore. Um, let me open. Is he going to open the door? Or should I have chosen night to b6? I mean opening would have been better, right? Because we can see who it is. So is this going to be similar? What did you think when you saw her? Who was she? I was happy to see her. I couldn't believe my eyes that she was just dropping by. I wish she hadn't come back. Let's go with this, I, I guess. I think I was happy to see her. I had no reason to feel any differently. Her name is Jenny. She's your daughter. It wasn't surprising to you that she had the same name as your sister? I didn't think about it, not as much as being a father, it seemed odd. I thought it was a coincidence. Let's go with this, I guess, it seemed Yes, odd. it made everything even more odd. And so, <laughs> guess what she told me, doctor? She asked you for money, she threatened to tell everyone, she proposed, she gave you the choice to acknowledge paternity. Maybe the fourth one? She said it was up to you whether you acknowledged paternity? Exactly. She said she was sure I was the father. That it would have been unfair not to tell me. That she didn't need my help or my money. But if I recognized her as my daughter, I could be in her life. And if you decide not to, it's fine. We'll leave right now and you'll never see us again. But call us a taxi, please. You didn't call one, did you? You're on a roll, doctor. And so, I looked at Jenny. I guess it goes without saying that 
I've never felt emotional around babies. I knew she was my daughter just by looking at her. She reminded me so much of my sister. I wondered, was she mine? I felt nothing. I guess I'll go with she reminded me of my sister. But she reminded me so much of my sister that, I don't know, I felt something. Of course, I didn't give Faye an answer. I was confused and I told her I needed time to give me a few days. I said they could stay with me instead of at a motel. Wait, this is Faye? I thought this was like the very next day after Faye left. They didn't stay in the main house. Did anything happen between you and Faye? Did she tell you her last name? Did she tell you about her life? Maybe the second one? After that first night, did anything ever happen again between you two? No, no. I don't know. It was all so strange, as if we were suddenly 20 years older. It would have been hard for me to see her that way. Not to mention how efficient we were the first time. Dude, I think Faye is up to something, dude. I don't think that's her child either. Because remember how she acted like when he first met Ed? They didn't stay in the main house. Did she tell you her last name? Uh, maybe this thing, like we know she didn't stay in the main house, right? She never told you her last name? No last name, no address. I would have told the police. I didn't ask her for her number either. She never left the house that whole time and... <laughs> I guess we were past that stage by that point. They didn't stay in the main house. Did she tell you about her life? Mm hmm. What do we go with? Maybe the second one? Did she tell you about her life? Did she tell you anything about her life? Apparently, she was about to start a master's in something like what you did, I guess. But she had to hit the brakes because of her pregnancy. Only child, father a widower, pretty well off, pretty old and... Hoping for grandkids. They didn't stay in the main house. Did she do anything strange? Mm. I mean, I won't ask whether, like, the main house thing every time, but, like, the other option's more interesting, right? Like, because we can know about her, so let's go with the other one, I guess. Did Faye do anything strange? Anything that took you aback? Uh, no. She spent the whole day with the baby, taking care of her. Playing. <laughs> it sounds dumb, but I was even a little jealous. We're all dumb. So she, so he brings stuff for the baby too, right? But what happened? Did it just disappear? Did do you see that thing just like floating there? The groceries and stuff? I don't know. Uh, what does it say? They didn't stay in the main house. Did she apologize for disappearing after the first night? Yep, the second one. That's all. Did she tell the you one. why she disappeared that first night? Did she apologize? No. And I didn't ask her to. You have any idea how many times I've done that? <laughs> I've got the gist of it. Okay, so maybe if Ed's done that too, maybe it's a girl that Ed slept with? 
was written like as fe where is she now Mm, they didn't stay in the main house. Did you talk after the pill? Wait, what does it mean? Did you talk about the pill? What pill? Like, did Ed know that he was drugged? Because there was no other pill related thing, right? Let's just ask about that. When you slept together the first night, she said she was on birth control, didn't oh. she? Did you talk about it afterwards? She was sure she hadn't skipped a single day. But, of course... No method is a hundred percent effective. They didn't stay in the main house. She didn't consider an abortion. Abortion, maybe? A young girl, single, with an unwanted pregnancy. She didn't think about getting an abortion? She told me that she was going to at first, but after a few days, <laughs> I think I get it. Wait, so this book? Like before they met here. Okay. My very first pirate book. <laughs> mm, how long were you both here? Yep, how long maybe? How long were they here? I've been thinking back on it these days and... I'd say it was exactly three weeks. They got here on a Sunday, and as you know, they disappeared on the Sunday. Are you okay? Do you want to take a break? No. Okay, so now we can ask whether they did stay in the main house. Let's ask them. You didn't let Faye and Jenny stay in the main house? It's just my room there. About ten years ago, when I moved back in, Aunt Claire started visiting me a lot. So I converted the old garage into a guest house. My aunt is better if kept at a safe distance. <laughs> okay, so wait, what's happening? The screen's all black. Oh, right. Anyway, the first two weeks felt good. But then things got warped. Like my head started to rebel. Like if it was pissed off that I was doing well. Wake up, Eddie. Wake up. That's his mother, right? Eh? Why'd you do it, sweetie? Mom? It was dead. I love you. Uh, I was mean to Jenny. Maybe this? I love you, Mom. I miss you. We're doomed because of you, sweetie. You're no better than him. But why can't he walk at this point? Is this like the present day? I think it is the present day, right? Because he didn't have where to go, like, earlier, like, before the accident, yeah? Where's he going to the... Oh. So maybe that was before like the doctor came that day?
What's she looking for? Is he looking for anybody to help him? Mm -hmm. He's back up again. But maybe he doesn't remember walking from the bed over to here. Was it a recurring nightmare? Every night. Always the same message. And the days weren't much better. I'd wake up exhausted, couldn't focus on anything. For years I hadn't thought about them constantly. I hadn't relived their deaths over and over again until... Oh, so this wasn't like after the accident. This was Ed. before. Ed! Ed! Huh? Jenny's temperature is 103.6. Huh? There's medicine in the cabinet. What should we do? Not too high for a baby? Are you sure? What should we do? Okay, okay. What should we do? Let's go to the hospital. <sighs> Get dressed. <sighs> I'm unlocking your car. I'll wait for you in there. <sighs> so is this when the accident happened? When they were trying to like get medicine for the baby? Uh, meet Faye to go to hospital, get dressed, go to the car, bring some entertainment to hospital, grab reading material, grab phone. Oh shit, okay. So yeah, let's grab our stuff there. Where would our clothes be? Uh, are these the... no, that's the punching bag. What's this? Mm, clothes, yep. Let's get dressed. All right. Uh, can we grab ready material? Like I don't think there's ready material in the bathroom, right? Wait, can't we go? In? Oh, we can. Nope, there's nothing here, right? Let's get out of the bedroom then. Mm, the, this is the phone. I'll grab that. Okay, phone's done. So now some ready material. Mm, maybe we'll check for ready material in the bookshelves. Oh, what's this? Get, uh, grab Jenny's book. Yep, let's grab that. Okay, so that was the ready material. Like it wasn't for Ed, it was for the kid, right? Uh, just study we can grab over there. So I guess we'll go down. Can we check the kitchen before we go? Let me check the kitchen first. Because what if there's something? Oh, can we go out through here too? No, doesn't look like we can. Right, let's have a quick look at the kitchen and this part. Nope, doesn't look like we can examine anything. Okay, so how about the living area? Mm. Oh, nice compass. I never saw this before. Looks nice. Mm, there's nothing in the dining area at all. Right, so let's just go. Here we go. Okay, so do we go to the corner? Can we check the treehouse before we go in the car? We can. Oh, nice. Jenny can wait a bit though. Let's check around. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's nothing to examine. We just can walk around. Oh, there's a bike too. Does it drive like a motorcycle too? I didn't know. Oh, nice barbecue area. And what's through here? Oh, it just leads to the back. Alright, enough messing around, let's just go. So 
so I don't think Jenny really has a fever. I think she's like up to something. Like who would plan like a thing this long, dude? Oh, we can go this way. Into the shed thing. I mean, it's not a shed anymore. It's a guest house, right? Yeah, I don't think we can go in here though. Alright, let's just leave. Are they already in the... Oh yeah, they are in the car, right? I can see her. That's Jenny. Is she in the back seat? Yep. I mean, shouldn't the baby be crying if she had a fever? Why'd you take so long? I got the book, just this in case. This is not the time for books! Okay. Okay, sorry. I'm just stressed out. There. Ugh, no. I'll get them. Calm down. We'll be there soon. Sit in the back with Jenny. Uh, I'll get them. I'll get them. Don't worry. And that's it? Until I woke up on the bridge. Yeah. Yeah, so that is how the accident had happened. Like when they were gonna go to the hospital. So maybe now like the doctor's gonna hypnotize him? Oh no, we get to play it from here too. It was like another one of my nightmares. It's clear as day that my car plunged down into the canyon, that the truck driver found me on the bridge, but what I remember seeing... That was his dad, right? Is my dad once again choosing to abandon me? I tried to reach him without him noticing me, but... Uh-oh. No! No! <laughs> yep, so... That part was the same. So I guess uh, like now when we hypnotize, we'll get to know what happened like really at that part too. Yep, here we are back. Well, we both know what I remember. Should we try what I forget? Okay, so they are going to try the hypnosis. Nice. Let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. Oh, this Wake is his dream. Up, Wake up. Why'd you do it, sweetie? Okay, so he didn't answer her when she asked, like, why he did it. Okay. 
Okay, so was that it? I mean, like, it wasn't that much different, like, to the real scenario, right? Yeah, here we go. So we can analyze one part. We've got both main and secondary stuff. Here we go. Analyze, yep. Yeah. Okay, so what have we got? Mm, we got the alarm. What time was it? Do you remember what time you went to bed that night? Around 11? Very early for me. But I was exhausted. Oh, huh, okay. So that was part of the main thing. I thought that was the secondary thing to check the alarm. Uh, let's check out Jenny, I guess. Focus on your sister's face, please. Is there anything unusual about it? Her eyes... They're brown. They'd always been blue. And do you remember what color Faye's baby's eyes are? Brown. Oh, shit. So this isn't her mom. This is Faye. Focus on your mother's face, please. Focus on her and tell me what you see. Okay. What does he see? She has face face. Mm. So that's not her mom, that was Faye. But she's my mom. So confusing. Uh my head. <laughs> Alright, so oh we can check the outside window yep can you see anything unusual outside no there's nothing weird the moon the stars the lake everything's normal nothing missing or extra nothing oh huh. all right so everything's normal outside mm. what else have we got it says there's some more stuff mm. Maybe there's something out, oh no, we can't go outside, right? Oh, there's something here, the clothes. Are those the clothes you were wearing that day? Yes. The exact same ones? The exact same ones. So maybe this is not a dream, this is real. Mm, what else? We can go into the bathroom too. Oh, here we go. Bathroom, yep. Is there anything odd about the bathroom? Anything out of place? No. Everything is normal. Hmm. Right, so we are done with this, so I guess we'll go back. Are there any more scenarios that we can, like, really... Yep, there's one more. Uh, that was a mother's face. The next one's back to square one. Yep, let's relive that, I guess. So this should like properly tell us right what happened like after the accident, like whether his dad was really on the bridge or was it somebody else? Okay, here we go. He wakes up. Right, he sees somebody. Is it his father though? Wait, that was it? Oh, okay. So maybe we need to analyze to find out who it really is. It can't be his father, right? Like, why would his father be there? And also, like, what was Faye up to do? Like, ah. Uh. 
uh, we have two places here. This is the first one, okay. Let's analyze this. Here we go. Mm, we can check over the bridge. Dead, yep. Can you Let's make see. out your father's features? He's really far away. Mm hmm. He's far away. Uh, what else? The marks. Are you sure those tire marks were made by your car? Could be. Next to the marks, are there any footprints? No, the ground is really dry. Oh, so there are no footprints, so nobody was here. Right, that's it for that part, and let's go over to the next one. Yep, here we go. Analyze. Right, what can we see? Mm, wait, why doesn't it give me the option? Me, yep. Focus on your feelings. On your body. It's weird. I'm exhausted and at the same time full of energy. My head hurts. My neck. My eyes feel heavy and tired. Hmm. All right. And oh, over there. Dad. Yep. Do you recognize your father? His face. His back is to me. And his body? He looks a little shorter. Oh, he's short, so who could it be? I mean, it doesn't make sense for like Sheriff Race or somebody to be there, right? Mm. Could it be one of the Franklins? I don't know. Yep, so we are done with this too. Yeah, it's really confusing as to who it could be. Alright, so anyway guys, I think that's going to be it for this part of the video. So if you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my videos because I upload almost daily. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.